Hello everyone. Today let's talk about what devices can we work with a PoE switch. We all know that PoE technology can transmit both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. There's no need for an extra power cord to the edge device. So here comes the question. What devices can work with a PoE switch? Well, the PoE technology uses a 48 volt current to transmit the power. Although, some IP devices can only accept a 12 volt or 5 volt input. If your PoE device can have PoE features, then they must have a PoE module built into it. Today, let's look at some common PoE devices. Here we have a PoE camera, a PoE wireless access point, a PoE VOIP phone. Let's look at the camera first. Right here, I have a 100 meter Ethernet cable. According to the IEEE 802.3 specification, the PoE is limited to 100 meters. There are many ways to extend the network. One way is in my previous video, how to connect 1,000 foot ultra long distance PoE. All right, let's, in, let's connect one end to the PoE camera and the other to the PoE switch. Let's wait for a second. And we can see the indicators are blinking. That means the PoE switch is currently transmitting power and data to the camera. Okay, now let's take a look at another PoE device. This is our wireless access point. I'll connect one end to the wireless access point and the other to the PoE switch. Same as the camera, you can see the indicators are starting to blink. That also means the PoE switch is currently transmitting both power and data to the wireless access point. Now, let's take a look at the VOIP phone. The VOIP phone has a PoE module built inside of it. So also, once we insert one end of the cable in the VOIP phone and the other in PoE switch. First we can see the phone is turned on. All the indicators are lit up. That means currently power and data it's transmitting to the VOIP phone. This little guy here is a PoE splitter. He has also a PoE module. They are built in all the three devices we just demonstrated. He has one input and two output. The input receives power and data from the PoE switch. Then it separates the data and converts the power into 12 volt DC. So then on the other end, the non-PoE device can become PoE acceptable. With this, we can turn the non-PoE devices to PoE devices. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, please leave at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.